During Women's History Month, I want to honor some of our nation's heroes who have too often gone unsung and uncelebrated. Our proud women veterans. Women, women have been part of our military history from the very beginning. From women who disguised themselves as men in order to serve, like Deborah Sampson during the Revolution, to Sarah Emmett Edmonds during the Civil War, to Kathy Williams, who joined the Buffalo Soldiers, to the incredible women generals I nominated earlier this month to serve as the second and third combatant commanders in our nation's history, General Jacqueline Van Ovost and Lieutenant General Laura Richardson. The women who have worn the uniform of the United States military serve our country with bravery, honor, and dignity. They face the same dangers and made the same sacrifices to serve. And they're entitled to the same benefits and respect as every other veteran. As I've often said, as, as a nation, we have many obligations. We only have one truly sacred obligation, to properly prepare and equip those women and men we send to, into harm's way and to care for them and their families while they're deployed and when they return. Every single veteran deserves world-class health care and support that they have earned. They've earned it no matter their gender, their race, their disability, their sexual orientation, or anything else. We owe you. It's as simple as that. And today, as women make up a larger and larger proportion of our veterans, we must continually, continually improve our ability to meet the unique health needs and cares and challenges of women veterans and what they face. We have to keep working to ensure that all women feel respected and they're safe from sexual assault and harassment in our military and in our VA systems. Nothing, and I want to emphasize, nothing should stand between our women veterans and the support and services they've earned. To all our women veterans, you represent the best of America. Service, duty, honor, country. It's who you are. And on behalf of all Americans, I want to say thank you. We can never fully repay, but I promise you that my administration will always have your back. Thank you. May God bless you and may God protect our troops.